Welcome to this presentation on the top new features in MediCard for Rabbit release 2014.11. One of the top new features in MediCard for Rabbit is the possibility to define custom formats for automatic object ID generation based on the parameter values. With the new parameter merge function, it is possible to create customized format that can consist of, for example, user code, product size, running index, number, or any other user selected parameter. I'm going to show you how to do this now. To use the parameter merge function, you start on the common tab and you go to the merge parameter panel. There are two options, parameter configuration and parameter merge. We're going to start by create the parameter configuration. In the parameter configuration dialog, I select to create a new configuration by clicking the plus button add. I'm going to create a data socket ID. Then I have to select what is the target parameter that I want to write the parameters to. In this case I'm going to use mark. I click the OK button. Then I go to the project parameter and I filter away all other disciplines except from the electrical. And then in the electrical I select data devices. And then I'm going to add a panel. And I'm going to add magic running index 1 and running index 2 and also the format. I'd like to move the format a bit up then I can use the arrow buttons. Then I would like to insert a constant between the parameters so then I can use add constant. I'd like to have a dot as a constant. I move it up to separate the parameters. Now I have created my parameter configuration and I can have a preview in the config in configuration preview window. The type parameter that I'm going to read to is the mark parameter and the preview is panel name, running index format, running index 1 and running index 2. Then I save my parameter configuration and I close the dialog. So now I have merged, created my parameter configuration. Now we're going to have to look how to place it. So how do we actually merge the parameters then? Well, if we start by having a look at one of the data sockets, we can see in the identity data that we have a magic running index group DP1, we have running index format A and numbers 15 and 16. The target parameter that we selected that was marked is empty. So let's select some data sockets. Go to the common tab and the parameter merge. Merge parameter. I unselect and check only data socket ID since that's what I'm interested of. The range is pre-selected with selection since I pre-selected my data sockets before I started the parameter merge function. When that is done, I simply click the update button. After a couple of seconds, the parameter has been merged. So let's sec check the data socket again. Target parameter was marked and it has now been added data panel 1 
a running innings number 15 and 16. That's how we use the parameter merge function.